replacing the other five injectors that didn't get replaced last time I had to do an injector. Have a look. And we've got the exhaust brakes off, the racks off, the injectors out. That's the injector I replaced last time, so it didn't have to be messed with. There's all the parts. When you do this sort of thing, you want to keep everything in order, starting from front of the engine back. Let's have a look at one of the injectors. You can see it's all corroded and clogged up and they need to be rebuilt. Clean them up and send them off and have them rebuilt. Put it back together. I sourced the Reman injectors from Chatham Fuel Injection Service, um, Chatham, Ontario, Canada. Uh, any issues with the injectors, they 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 resolve them immediately. They they were real good about resolving an issue I had with the injectors. Um, they came shrink wrapped and oiled, and it, you know they're obviously very professional in the way they go about doing things. Uh, we'll see how the injectors run, but I don't foresee any problems with them. I sourced them through uh, Chatham Fuel Injection at a significant savings, at about a 50% reduction in cost. Uh, and uh, I, I recommend you go have a look at their website if you're interested in having injectors done and at least consider them. All right, this is Cummins Select Plus O-Ring and Screen. Um, as you can see, the O-rings are color-coded, red, white, and blue. And here's the screen here. This is the screen that comes off the fuel rail. It's the final screen that screens any impurities out of the fuel. Uh, this is what they look like. Red, white, and blue seal. And there's the screen. As you can see, it comes flat. And, it, and you clip it together. You bend it around where the injector accepts fuel here on this bank here. I'll point at it here. On this bank here. You bend it around and clip it in. And pay attention to what the screen says. It says arrow up and outside. So you put the arrow on the screen pointing up, bend it around the injector, clip it in place, and then you put it to the outside of the injector, not the front of the back and the o-rings it's critical that you get them in the in the proper order also red white and blue we're working on this one next procedure is we're cleaning out the copper injector cup you can see it down in there this one still needs to be cleaned then you vacuum out the cylinder with the suction device this is install a new injector. These are the ones I sourced from Chatham. Fuel injection. And you seat them with our homemade tool. We made this tool especially to seat this injector. You can see it sits on that shoulder there. Push the injector down into the hole and feed it with a rubber mallet. Cleaning the the copper injector cup, you don't want to use anything solid. You use a rubber hose, and wrap a rag around it, so you don't in any way scar that rubber or that uh, copper that copper injector cup down in there. You don't want to damage that at all. So you use a rubber hose. Injector cup is what the injector seat in. That's what the that's what these O-rings here seat in. That copper injector cup. You gotta oil the O-rings 
on the injector. She's using 30 weight. Oil in the copper cup. are a little tricky because the wiring harness needs to be plugged in as you drop the injector in. Drop the injector in. Cool. Make sure it's sitting in there properly. Tap it in until it bottoms out. There it is. Now we'll put in the injector pull down clamp, which is this, and torque the spec, which is 30 pounds, 30 foot pounds of torque. What are we doing here? Adjusting an injector. Adjusting the last injector. The last injector. And then we'll be done with the overhead and the injector adjustment. Okay. One. Two faces. Tighten the lock nut. Overhead and injector adjustment. Brand new injector and overhead. Brand new overhead. Start running like a champ now. Well, we got the new injectors put in it. Um, see how it runs. 